Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Now, if you guys do not know, you guys probably woke up to the new DLC being released in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Now, obviously this is the Kyo Perico heist. And if you guys do not know all the stuff that came out with it, I will leave my live stream that I did linked down below at the top of the description. Now before we start this video, if you guys comment down below right now, what do you guys think about this DLC? Out of 10, what would you guys rate it? Comment down the number you guys would rate this out of 10 for this DLC. In my opinion, I'd probably give this like a 7 out of 10, but you guys let me know in the comments. But yeah, in this video, I quickly wanted to talk about the unreleased vehicles that are coming soon to the GTA 5 Online scene. If, as you guys know, only five vehicles came out with the DLC today, but lots of people are confused on only why five came out. Now, there are obviously way more cars that are going to come out soon, but what Rockstar does is they drip feed these. So every single week in the weekly update, there's going to be a new car releasing. And there are a total of 12 cars that are unreleased and are very sick. I'm going to be showing you guys all those unreleased cars in this video. So make sure to stay tuned and watch the whole entire video. But yeah, let's get into the first unreleased car that I'm gonna show you guys right now. So take a look at your screen, you guys can see this orange looking car. It looks like a very luxurious sports car. I can't really obviously tell you guys what the name of it. We don't know any of the names of these cars, but this car looks like a very cool sports car. It looks like it's gonna be in the $3 million range. This car looks very sick and I am very excited for this car. Let's go on to the next one. Now the next one, this car looks, I mean, it's all right. It looks like it's gonna be a Southern San Andreas car. It's like a yellow uh, punch buggy looking type of car. It looks kind of cool, it's probably going to be very cheap, I'd say right around the $600,000 mark. Now this next car looks very sick, it's more of a truck. Now I don't know if this is like a flatbed tow truck or what it is, let me know down below in the comment section what type of car this is. But yeah, this is an unreleased truck that is going to be coming very soon into Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Now this looks like a Southern San Andreas type car in my opinion, but who knows it could be Warstock as well. Now let's get into the two vehicles that everybody is super excited for. Now, you guys can see, yes, they are going to be releasing a blue go-kart, guys. This is literally super sick. Everybody's excited about it. I did say there were speculations about it in my last video. And now it is confirmed it is going to be coming soon into GTA 5 Online as a drip feed vehicle. Now, the next car we have is going to be another go-kart, which is honestly a cooler one in my opinion. You can see it's an orange looking one. It has bumpers on the side. It's more of a bumper cart and then the other one's like a go-kart in my opinion. Now, let's go on to the next one. Now the next one you can actually find on the Cayo Perico Island. It's actually um, the main guy, the blondie guy's um, car. You can see it's like a green punch buggy. It looks all right. Looks like a Southern San Andreas car or a Warstock car, very cheap. But yeah, let's go on to the next one. Now this is gonna be the Dinghy Mark II. So this is a dinghy, but with turrets on the front. And it's probably gonna withstand some rockets because why would it have a turret and not be able to withstand rockets? So this looks like a very cool boat that's gonna be coming into GTA 5 Online. I say right around 1.2 million for this boat. Now let's get into the motorcycle that's gonna be coming as a drip feed vehicle as well. Now I'm pretty sure what they're calling this one is going to be the Sanchez 2. So I'm not really into bikes that much, but I guess this bike's kinda cool. It's probably gonna be very cheap in my opinion. It doesn't look like it has anything special. Now let's go on to the next one, which is gonna be a military type of vehicle. It's probably gonna be on war stock right around like one to two million dollars, I'm probably saying. And yeah, it looks kind of cool in my opinion. This car looks like it'll be used for like transportation in the new island. Now the next vehicle we have is going to be a four-wheeler, but it looks like a military style uh, four-wheeler. It doesn't have any weapons on it. It looks pretty cool. I say this is probably going to be right around six, $700,000 mark. Now onto the next military type of vehicle. Now this is a vehicle you can actually find around the Cayo Perico Island. And I don't know what it's called, but it looks like a military type vehicle. We will be able to buy it once it actually releases in Warstock. Looks like it's going to be probably like a $2 million vehicle in my opinion, just because it's a big truck. Now that basically wraps things up for all the unreleased vehicles that we know so far in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online that are going to be coming soon as drip feed vehicles. Obviously, everybody is excited for the go-karts. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about all these cars. Which one of these is your favorite and which one of these are you most excited for to release in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online? As always, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did want to enjoy, make sure you do me that favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also, drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.